We've got our Y band wired up, OBD2 connector plugged into the port, HB tuner's interface plugged into the laptop. Go up to here to vehicle, click connect. Once we're connected, go to vehicle again and click on repull for supported parameters. And what that's going to do is it's going to download a list of all the OBD channels from the stock PCM as well as the OBD channel from the uh, X-Series Y-Band. Now what we need to do is go ahead and add uh, the channel for the Y-Band gauge itself. The way we're going to do that is by clicking right here to click uh, Add Channel. Now we're going to search for it. And what it's called in the HP Tuner software is WB like Y-Band, EQ like EQ ratio. So we're going to type in WB WB EQ, and you'll see it right here in the list, it comes up, there's only one listed, WB EQ ratio 1 SAE, that's the one that we want. So we're going to go ahead and double click on it, and once we do that, it adds it to the list here on the left side. So now we can close this window. And now if we're to start a data log, start recording here, you'll see that it shows our lambda reading. Uh, it's showing us 2.000 lambda. That's reading full lean, the engine's off, so that's normal. Once we start the engine up, we'll see it start uh, reading here, and you'll just want to double check and verify that it's reading the same as the gauge itself. Once you've confirmed that the gauge is reading properly, you're going to go ahead and right click on the channel, go to decimals. You can add or subtract your decimal places. I've got it set here to three decimal places, as you can see. And I'll right click again and go to polling interval. Now this sets the sample rate or how fast the channel is updated. Now the X-Series is broadcasting over CAN at 100 hertz, so we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of that high speed and click on our 10 uh, millisecond or 100 hertz setting. And once we do that, we're ready to data log our Y-band. We've got our second wideband gauge piggybacked into the OBD2 port. Next, we need to go up here and click Connect again. And we're going to go ahead and, and click on Repull for supported parameters again. And like I mentioned earlier, that's going to get a full list from the ECU, but also it should pick up both of our wideband gauge parameters. Once we've pulled for uh, parameters, we're going to go ahead and click on Add Channel. We're going to do the same search we did before where we type WBEQ, but now you'll notice there's actually two here. There's the first one that we've already added, which is WBEQ ratio 1, but you can see below that there's a second OBD controller listed, and that's listed here as WBEQ ratio 2. So we're going to click on that second one, add that to our list. Now we see here on the left side on our channel list, we have both Y-band EQs. If you want to go ahead and move it down so it's in order, you can like that. And if we click the Start Scanning button, we'll now see that we're reading data from both Y-band gauges. For more information, visit aemelectronics.com.